Yo, Star Marvel 76 here with a tutorial to make 112 scale graffiti. I more or less have everything laid out that I'm going to need. First and foremost, you're going to want to start off with a wall, some kind of wall to put your graffiti on. And in this case, this is what we're going to use today. Now, I had got this from my man Al Figures a couple years ago, and he kindly left the other side blank for me and said, hey, go at it with some graffiti whenever you want. And I never really had an idea of what to do, so I just had it in my detail this whole time. But now that I got an idea, I think it's the perfect time to graffiti this up. Shout out to my man Al Figures with the troop, with the days. All right, for this one, I drew out a stencil. So you could freehand graffiti and however you want. And in this case, I'm gonna do a stencil one. You can use stencils like this, especially on slaps and st custom stickers that you want to make. You can get a lot of uses out of something like this. So when I make stencils like this, I kind of try to keep them around. But we're not actually going to use this part of the stencil. We're going to use what's left over. So these are cool too to use for graffiti, uh, 112 scale of course, or any kind of stickers or slaps customs that you want to make. Um, and reuse it over and over again if you wanted to. Now where are we going to put it? That's when I figure out who's doing the graffiti and pretty sure she's gonna be doing the graffiti. So I, unless there's a huge ladder or something, it'd be way up here. But for scale's sake, I want it to be where her arm is. So you can kind of set your figure up however you want, whatever height makes sense or goes good. That's where I would lay the stencil. And I also got this one too, which, when it's all said and done, can you guess what that's going to say? All right. So we're going to put that right about, right about there. Now to hold these down, I pretty much just use uh, tape. Any kind of tape is fine. <clears throat> all right. So once you get it all taped down, sometimes you have pieces like this that want to raise up little pieces like that right here they want to raise up so what I do for that is I pretty much get some sticky tack some blue tack sticky tack whatever you want whatever you have available to you roll it up in a little ball and position it under there as best I can with my fat fingers there just like that and here's the two colors I'm gonna be using I'm gonna be using moot green and Thousand Suns Blue from Citadel. Pretty much gonna always need black and white. So I always got black and white. And finish it off with a matte varnish just to protect it and give it any shine that may be left over because I'm also going to be using black and white acrylic paint pens. On to the airbrushing. So now if that worked, we could take the tape off. And it should come together. See, and then I can peel this off, save this for another time. Take this off. So the airbrush tries to blow it up all the time. So that's why I'll put these, that's why I'll put these in certain areas to hold it down. And I really should probably get a tweezers for that, so. Now to put in the middle word, which is going to be doggy. But I wanted to do doggy in like cursive with a couple quotes at the end.
I'll tell you what, in my experience, this is no thinning necessary. No matter how much I shake this mess, for 30 seconds, two minutes, it doesn't matter. I always need to thin it, always. And now to put in the finer details, I'll be doing that with my trusty black and white paint markers. Let's go. And there we have it, Brook Doggy Dog. All right, so that's my first tutorial. I hope it was informative at least, and uh, hope you enjoyed it, and maybe you took something away from it. All right, Star Marvel 76, see you on the next one.